Hi, today I wanted to talk about my favorite Pinguicula propagation method. Um, so I saw this online probably at the Inter International Carnivorous Plant Society um, Facebook group. There's a lot of good information there uh, and people having discussions if you're ever looking for uh, different care info or, you know, anything basically. Um, but yeah, this one was a strange one to me when I first saw it and I, uh, it's been so, so successful that it's not like, you know, slightly my favorite method. It's far and away my favorite method. So I just wanted to share it. So basically you take a ping pulling and I have a closed container here. You can see some with, um, some successful propagations in here. So this is a to go container from like sauce. I didn't, you know, get, this is a new one. I didn't get one and wash it out or something. But um, it has a few holes poked in the top. I think there's two in the top here. Um, I then have a little label. And I have a piece of paper towel down in there too that I've wet. Um, so I'll open it up. And basically what I did is I laid the pullings on top of this paper towel. I'm gonna zoom in just so you can kind of see what's going on here. Um, and basically took a spray bottle and I sprayed kind of like you would see here, like anytime it got a little bit dry, just to kind of keep that medium moist. And it, you know, it's paper towel, it doesn't need a ton, but you would lay the pulling like you would with any other ping propagation method where you kind of take the pulling, you lay it down, you know, uh, sort of like the, the tear end um, kind of down. It doesn't need to be poking down, but just kind of resting down. And you kind of wait, try to keep it moist, um, and then just sort of wait for it to propagate. But like you're seeing here, this is really successful. Um, I probably lose 20% of my pullings, but that's, you know, down from probably 50%, at least in my conditions and what I was trying before with various, like, I mean, really, it was mostly trying to do exclusively winter pullings and, you know, putting it in kind of a wet spot with a little bit more peat in the, in the substrate, or sorry, in the medium. Um, but yeah, I, I'm going to take these, I am going to plant at least one of these, um, and I have a new sort of pot set up here, I'm going to zoom out, new pot set up here, I'll take some of these out and just make room, but, um, so I'm kind of knocking everything, uh, this here, I have these tweezers, I'm just going to pull out, um, this should be Zachary, Zachary, um, and this has been here for a, for a super long time. Like, it's been in here too long. <laughs> but um, I think it's kind of a good thing, too. There's no urgency, really, like, when they're ready. Um, so, honestly, I should probably clean this up. This is a bad example. Let me take a kind of a cleaner one, and I can get back to that later. Um, this is... Hen oh, man. This one is just... It's kind of so successful. There's, like, multiple plants. Let me just try to grab one. Hopefully I can just grab one and it's definitely a little bit attached to this um, paper towel But you know like with ping roots generally the roots aren't Such a big deal like it can usually stand to you know be banged up a little bit I'm gonna put this one off to the side because I'm probably gonna end up planting the other one in there. This is Hemia Pophytica um, Really a favorite of mine uh, so definitely check that out if you aren't familiar with it, but I'm going to plant it in the substrate here. Then I kind of show you with the pulling what to do. All right, so this one's really planted up. I'm going to put this with the rest of them. I mean, it's not planted too deeply, right? It's kind of a small one, but I think this one be, will be fine. It's really vigorous for me. Again, that's Hemiapophytica. So, um, here, I'll take a pulling now. This is a kind of troubled plant. It's a sort of a weird ehlers form. At least I was told it was. It's a lot different than my others, but I, it's really a favorite of mine. And um, with this one, I really let the soil get too mossy. I think it was choked a little bit. It's starting to recover, but just in case it doesn't, I'm trying to propagate it a bit more. Anyway, so what I'll do here is I'm going to take some of the lower growth. Let me just clean off my tweezers. Take some of the lower growth. Just pull a leaf away, and I'm going to look for ones that are still alive, but hopefully aren't too too attached that I, I end up damaging the plant. I'm going to hold the top and then kind of tug on it, but not so hard that I'm going to damage it. I think you just have to kind of get a sense of this, like 
pull a little bit. If it breaks free, I think I'm going to go for this one. Yeah, this one's okay. You know, you can damage the leaf a little bit, but it's one of these things kind of like mini succulents. Like you'll pull a leaf away and you'll get a little bit of like meristem or some kind of, you know, some tissue. Uh, some of the pullings don't work, but um, with this one, this should be quite enough to give it a good try. So I'm going to, oops, I'm going to go back to my my pot here that I've kind of like messed all up but even in such a crowded uh, little pot like this I can put this down here kind of rest the um, leaf on the top so I'm kind of it'll go a little bit closer just so I have that part that was attached to the stem just so it's like touching the um, wet paper towel and then I kind of want to at least give it the light right so make sure it's not obstructed um, I'm going to try to get a better spot so that I know it's going to sit, like rest nicely and make contact with that paper towel. So that should work. Um, and yeah, and then from here, it's just kind of a waiting game. I'm going to cover it with that uh, cover or that uh, cap that has the two holes. And then I would definitely mark it. I'm not going to do it in this case just because I know what it is already. I don't have that many in here, but you should always mark things, okay? Do you know, do as I say, not as I do, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I would say it will take at least a week, and then you'll kind of know if it's um, succeeded or not. And then from there, I'd wait another week or two until you have a plant that is robust enough to use. So, yeah, I think that's about all I have to tell you. You know, I think you should check these periodically, you know, through these little holes, they do dry out pretty slowly, but I would say probably every two weeks, I'll kind of open it up or check it and spray it. Um, also say you don't have to do, you know, such a small scale. Like this is really a small vessel here. I'm knocking my camera. Um, you know, you could do something uh, much larger I've seen. I would just keep it kind of a low air volume container, like maybe kind of a flat Tupperware. You could do that. Um, but yeah, this is by far the most successful method for me. Um, you know, there are other methods, of course, but uh, yeah, this is definitely worth a try. Definitely easy. I mean, and, and like you just saw, I don't even replace this paper towel, really. Maybe I would get better success or something, but I haven't replaced the paper towel in, I don't know, gosh, months. So I think it's really, really economical and, you know, pretty clean for you and everything, too. Um, so yeah, hopefully you'll give this a try and have uh, many ping babies to share with friends. All right, thanks a lot. Let me know if you have questions.